talking about some very very important stuff there are many questions that people are asking me hi guys i am ramakant i am chesh and myself akshay gupta hi i am mohit makwana my name is anish but pilani cs student and i currently work at cisco uh, i had a bachelor score of 382 i am currently uh, pursuing my b in computer science from bits pilani and my bits score was 387 from bits pilani pilani campus cs branch uh, my bits score was 392 i did my bachelor's from bits pilani in computer science I had a score of 402 in bits side and 1420 ranked in advance and I'm currently interning at Flipkart in Bangalore my bits side score was 383 someone very 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 special with us here today here we have some people who have done extremely 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 well in bits side in the previous years and we'll be talking about some very very important stuff there are many questions that people are asking me is bits actually worth it what about the placements in bits planning and what about the bits side strategy and how should we actually go about preparing for bits side and that's what we'll be talking about in the video today we'll have some extremely important pointers from very brilliant people who have done well so make sure to watch it till the very end because this is going to be very very useful so hi guys i am ramakant i am a bit pilani cs student and i currently work at cisco uh, i had a bachelor score of 382 suppose it say mera mains acha nahi gaya aur mere ko bit side mein acha karna hi hai so what should my strategy be for the next two months okay so so aisa bahut log ke sath hota hai ki mains unka acha nahi jata but they get a good chance at bit side so no, we can start off by being positive fir there are a few points to be taken into consideration you can start with revising you complete the syllabus uh, it is not necessary to go into very depth but you have to cover the complete syllabus at a basic level because bit set is a uh, comparatively easier than mains next on you have to revise you have to keep on revising so that you keep in touch with the topics you can solve as many uh, questions as possible you should give mock tests and after mock test you should analyze what mistakes you made and improve after giving a significant number of mock tests you will get to know uh, where you are lagging and you can improve on those facts and you can definitely score well in bits set got it thanks a lot man i know many people might be struggling right now kinki mains acha nahi gaya koi baat nahi bahut logon ka acha nahi gaya and it's important for you guys to have the right mentorship and the right community you can do help you really well in bits set and thank you so much amar khan jesh and i am currently uh, pursuing my b in computer science from bits pilani and my bits score was 380 hey so, yeah, yaar mujhe tera bits score to kafi acha hai so some, suppose let's say someone doesn't know about bonus questions or or he is confused what should the exam strategy be for bits side considering the huge amount of questions in bits side so what should you tell them yeah so basically uh, in the uh, exam giving strategy first thing is you need to manage time very well so for time management एक क्वेश्चन को अगर पकड़ लिया तो उसमें ज्यादा टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करना है फॉर वन क्वेश्चन यू शुड नॉट गिव मोर देन वन मिनट टाइम राइट और फिर uh, एक बार पूरा पेपर कर लो अगर ज्यादा टाइम लग रहा है कोई भी क्वेश्चन पे तो उसको थोड़ी टाइम के लिए स्किप करो और री uh, अटेम्प्ट uh, करना ठीक है और बेसिकली बस बाकी तो माइंड अच्छा रखो काम रहो एग्जाम के टाइम में और बोनस क्वेश्चन का जो लेवल होता है और नॉर्मल नॉर्मल क्वेश्चन का जो लेवल होता है वो नियरली सेम रहता है इतना कोई फर्क नहीं रहता तो इट्स अ वेरी गुड थिंग इफ यू आर वेरी फास्ट एट सॉल्विंग नॉर्मल प्रॉब्लम्स तो मैं लगता है कि अब इसमें कुछ ज्यादा मैं कर नहीं पाऊंगा और लेट्स से टेन क्वेश्चन ऐसे है तुम्हारे पास कि जो तुम्हें लगता है कि लेट्स ब्लफ दो क्वेश्चन एंड एटलीस्ट मेरे दो क्वेश्चन तो सही हो जाएंगे तो लेट्स से अगर दो क्वेश्चन टेन क्वेश्चन में सही हो जाते हैं तो मतलब ज्यादा कुछ नेगेटिव मार्किंग ज्यादा तुम्हारी होने नहीं वाली और तुम बोनस क्वेश्चन पे शिफ्ट हो सकते हो तो फॉर बोनस क्वेश्चन द मेन थिंग इज कि एटलीस्ट तुम्हारे पास 20 टू 25 फाइव मिनट्स बचने चाहिए फॉर द अटेम्प्टिंग बोनस क्वेश्चन तो ये सारी चीजें कैसे पता चलेगी तो यू शुड अटेंड सम मॉक टेस्ट तीन चार मॉक टेस्ट दो अपनी स्पीड एनालाइज करो ऐसा भी नहीं करना कि बहुत स्पीड में जाके फिर नॉर्मल क्वेश्चन में सिली मिस्टेक्स करके आ जाओ तो एट अ बैलेंस अगर तुम कर पा रहे हो तो बोनस क्वेश्चन आर रियली लाइक एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स विच यू कैन ईजिली गेट Great man, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Josh. Yeah. So, hello, myself Akshit Gupta from Bits Pilani, Pilani campus, CS branch. Uh, my Bits set score was three ninety two. So, Akshit, tell me, you got an amazing score in Bits set, and if someone has to do extremely well in Bits set, what should his mindset be like a few days before the Bits set examination? So. Uh, During that time, you should be prepared with the uh, important formulas and uh, what you say, like last-minute uh, key concepts or something like that. Because uh, formula-based questions are the major part of bit set exam, so you should be ready with uh, the formulas written somewhere. So in the last week, keep revising on them. Those formulas should be on your tips. Okay, and other thing, uh, when I prepared during my time, like I used to surf on net a lot and find the mock tests. But you have a great opportunity. Like uh, the Bitset Busters have created a platform where you will get the feel of the real exam. 
the proper scenario will be given and not only this you will get a mentorship program so from uh, they will tell you where you are lacking and what you can do to improve yourself so yeah you can try it uh, coming to the main thing so uh, in the last week also you should be revising the things like the mock test you have given so what were your weaknesses so that should be clear by that time so yeah this is it got it thanks a lot akshay it means a lot and i hope yeah. anybody who's watching this do check out the mock test series and the mentorship community few of these amazing mentors will also be there to help you out on a day to day basis as well and I'll hi i'm mohit makwana i did my bachelor's from bits plan in computer science i had a score of 402 in bits at and 1420 rank in advanced and even though you had a great rank in j advanced you still chose bits why Yeah I saw for a few reasons bits is pretty much comparable to a lot of good ITs for the computer science branch and it has a good placement record which was important for me and yeah it's also has a fantastic startup culture so yeah. all these points are favor favor yeah. I think many people like me and him we were use a zero attendance policy a lot as well to try and explore other things as well yeah. yes and but uh, don't you think that the fees is extremely high so how did you go about navigating the high fees in the Yeah right the fees which are increasing are getting increasingly like uh, an issue for admission but they have a few things like uh, scholarships based on merit and also need which we can use so that's an option be- technically like around people getting an 8 cg and all uh, they should be able to get close to 25 40% of their tuition fees waived off mm-hmm. so that's quite possible okay. can you talk more about the mcn like what percentage how much cgp do you need to get so that you can get a certain percentage of scholarship if you can yeah i've heard i guess of people with 7 cg is getting 15 to 20% and above 8 you can go for 40% or 25% and then there's also the 80% uh, thing which comes around 8.5 8.6 if you have a cg get in that and you can show that you have a need for the scholarship then you will pretty much get the tuition fee waived off correct and generally it's around 12 lakhs i mean if your family income is yeah. less than 12 lakhs only then you'll apply for this so but then a lot of people take advantage of this and they get to study in this hi everyone my name is anish and i'm currently interning at flipkart in bangalore my bitsat score was 383 so what was the placements actually like it's a lot of rumors there's a lot of people saying different things and you guys are studying in bitspilani computer science so what is the placements going on what is the scenario right now hmm So Bits Pilani generally has pretty good placements but because of the current situation it has been a bit worse like there are some regular recruiters which didn't come or even if they came they just shortlisted on a couple of people or things like that there were some cases where uh, there was some vagueness in the process where people were not able to understand why they're not getting selected or the tests were not properly planned but in general uh, the summer internship season which bits pilani had was much better than the placements so people got good offers from that like uh, with good ctc or cost to company <laughs> other than that uh, the college also tried to invite a lot of startups and newer companies uh, in the current placement season and yeah there's a winter intern program in bits called practice school there also the college uh, brought in a lot of good companies so Yeah, it's, it's been decent, but it has been much worse than previous years. Got it. And it makes sense because like uh, all the com- colleges they've been affected right now. Even in co- companies, there are colleges like IIT Bombay. Even they have been affected badly. And right now, what you're seeing here, this is the tech park in Bangalore, and we, these guys are interning right here, and I'm working here as a full timer. So things are not as bad as they seem, but then things could be better. Is the general trend? 